Hey everybody, I just wanted to say real quick, uh, I'm about to show you a video clip. It's really graphic, and um, so I just want to prepare you for it. It's, uh, it's not pretty, and um, it's truly a sad thing that happens to a lot of truck drivers out here on the road. And uh, so I thought I would just show it to you. And um, like I said, it's pretty bad. But um, anyway, I'll let you guys go ahead and watch it. And uh, I'll be back in a second. Five near Stacy Road, catching fire as it plummets, then bursting yeah, into flames. Because the first thing I said was, the driver, where's the driver, the driver. The couple racing with others to try and save the driver, but their the efforts. Just, the heat from the fire was just, it was so hot. A few times. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. That's I think that's one of the worst rakes I've seen. Um, that, I, I worry about that myself a lot when I'm driving overpasses, bridges, and stuff like that, running off one like that. Uh, tire blowout, anything could happen. Um, but anyway, if you would just say a prayer for the driver and his family, and uh, pray for us drivers out here on the road, and God brings us home safely. And uh, I hate to start a video off sad like that, but um, I don't know. I just thought I would show it to you and let you uh, see it uh, if you haven't already seen it before. Uh, something that just recently happened. So anyway, let's get started with the video. Robbie's got a gold watch. Don't seem like a whole lot. After 30 years of driving up and down the interstate But Robbie's had a good life And Robbie's got a good wife super good year you know for me the rates were phenomenal I said right now the rates aren't super good I said but hang in there and uh, it'll get better I promise you and he's like me he has a truck that's paid for he doesn't have to run super hard you know so it's nice when you don't have to run super duper hard but make you money Yeah, he said, uh, he said his wife loves the channel. And uh, I'll bet you money that she loves the duck man. Ducky duck. <laughs> I've got to get Teresa to do me some uh, videoing of uh, Ducky so I can put it in the videos. Uh, he's at the house taking it easy. Semi-retired, not completely retired, just semi-retired. He's gonna still come out with me every now and then. He uh, had a vet appointment Saturday and got a clean bill of health. And the vet's office said that his numbers look better this year than they did last year. How is that possible? How come the rest of us can't get better with age? <laughs> but yeah, the vet said he's doing super good. And I'm really glad. Because I was worried he was uh, staying out with me on the road too much and not getting the kind of uh, exercise and everything he needs. I keep hearing this boom, 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 and it, I'm thinking it's me, but it's not. It's a car behind me back there blaring the radio, and all you hear is boom, boom, boom. Wait, what the hell is boom, boom, boom? <laughs> I don't know which one of them it was. I don't think it was that one. Might have been that one right there. But uh, yeah, Luke said he's delivering down in uh, Portland, Tennessee. But he doesn't deliver until Wednesday morning. 
And I told the agent, I said, I ain't worried about it. I said, I got a good friend that's uh, maybe going to come hang out with me if he's still at home. He ain't going to go back out on the road. So uh, he is still there. We'll definitely get some video footage of that. And uh, that'll be an awesome video. Yeah.
ain't it? One of these days mine will be as pretty as that red one. <laughs> He's a driver at Landstar too, huh? How about that? Wonder who it is. Maybe I get a chance to catch up with him if he, when he wakes up. He must be asleep taking his break or something. We'll see. Let's get on over there and look at the truck and see what new stuff we did to it. Alright. Yeah, I'll show you what I did to the truck. Uh, I had some time today to kill, so I was like, let's go ahead and get that tag uh, holder on the front. one of these for my window <laughs> all right so i'm looking at my buddy matt's truck here and he has the uh classic xl all right beautiful truck classic xl i gotta get one of those chrome things for mine love the pipes awesome now, look at mine. Mine says Classic XL Limited. So I have to start wondering, what's different about mine? <laughs> eh, I got a little indent up there. Got to get that chrome piece that goes right there. And also there's a chrome piece that goes inside, right there inside that indent. Now, the difference is mine's at the 84 inch bump. Mine has the 72 inch bump. I think it's 72. I added that to my freight liner thing. A little flag. But yeah, I love Matt's truck. It's really beautiful. I love the red. He has the, uh, the flat blinker thing. I have the old style square one. We're gonna upgrade that to an LED pretty soon. But yeah. Overall, man, two gorgeous trucks. Two classics. I got to get my visor and my, and my stacks, and then I'll be up there with Matt. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, it's been a long day, man. It's been a long day. Um, we didn't get to meet up with our buddy Matt. Uh, the timing on it just didn't work out. Uh... But uh, we'll uh, we'll probably meet up with him somewhere else down the road. Um, but we did get some work done on the truck while we're sitting taking a break. 
I hate just sitting doing nothing. I like to try to find something to do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we were able to get our tag holder put on. Uh, we're on our way down to Decatur, Alabama. Gonna pick up a load down there of rubber. We've done this load before. It um, picks up down there. And uh, those loads are usually pretty heavy. <laughs> it's big rolls of rubber that they use up in uh, Fayetteville up there to make the Goodyear tires. And uh, so we'll uh, uh, take those over there to Fayetteville. And uh, from Fayetteville, we're supposed to go down to Dillon, pick up a load and go to uh, Horton, Michigan. Horton. <laughs> So, Horton is up on the Canadian border. So, hopefully, um, I, I, and I've looked at on Google Earth. It looks like it's a pretty cool place up there. But it's, it's way back in the middle of nowhere. Oh, excuse me. It's just been a long day already. Hit the sack and call it a, a day. But, um, yeah. Um, so, I'm looking forward to doing some videoing up there and everything. Um, normally when we do these loads we have enough time we can get there and do a 34 hour reset but even if I ran my butt off I wouldn't be able to do it with this one so we're just going to take our time and, and uh, just run you know maybe about 8 hours a day something like that try to try not to go too crazy with our uh, recaps so we run our recaps because we're going to be running recaps till we get back home excuse me because I don't think we got any um any room for a uh, 35 hour reset unless something changes but yeah we got all our loads booked up through i want to say uh yeah we're picking up because uh the load we're picking up monday after we get done up there in horton is uh in green bay wisconsin going to um springsboro ohio so Oh, uh, we got our loads booked for a little while here. So we ought to be staying busy, running. And uh, can't wait to get home, man. <laughs> uh, I gotta be home, no late. I gotta be home, uh, I need to be home by the 25th cause that's Sunday. Oh, excuse me. Good morning again. Oh, that's Mr. Jesse. <laughs> you made new too, Mr. Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> and uh so uh yeah i've been running nights and uh just it works out better that way because uh there's no traffic the weather's cooler and it's easier on the motor on the truck and uh so i like running nights um uh, it's not as easy for videoing, but it's a lot better for uh, the truck and uh, saving time. So, I like doing that. Oh, lordy, lordy. But, uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. We've been rambling on for too long, but, uh, yeah. We picked this load up in Greenville, Ohio coming back down to uh, Tennessee. Ooh. Man, I'm ready for some time off. Oh, thing is, I'm only gonna be off for maybe two days, three days at the very most. So, uh, you know. But I'm building up to something. Um, I'm hoping in December that's what I'm shooting for is December uh, taking two weeks off two weeks because <laughs> I got to get the uh, the motor replaced in the truck and uh, so I figure it's going to take a minimum of seven to eight days something like that to get all that done so I'm planning on it most likely just taking two weeks off but I mean of course as soon as they get it done I'll be ready to head back out 
and uh, so that motor ain't gonna be cheap. <laughs> that is a major purchase. So, well, it's part of trucking. If you want to be able to, to do what you got to do, uh, be able to do your job and everything, you have to have uh, good equipment. Otherwise, you're going to spend a lot of time in the shop, a lot of downtime, a lot of overhead, and a lot less income coming in. So, if you can keep your equipment good, it's, it's a lot better for you. So... That's what we're working on doing. Uh, plus, I got this summer cold. Man, it drives me crazy. But uh, things are looking up. We're over 1,600 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. If you're new to the channel, thank you, thank you. Um, please feel free to leave comments if you want to tell me where you're from and stuff like that. And um, Oh, another thing too is I'm completely out of hats and t-shirts. <laughs> um, the fellow I met up with in, uh, where was it at? Was it Greenville? Yeah, Greenville. He, um, I gave him my last hat and shirt. Uh, Mr. Lou, nice fella. Uh, and uh, he was headed down, I think also to Tennessee to deliver his load, but he delivered a day, a day after me. So, oh, lordy, lordy. But, uh, yeah, I've had pretty good loads, light loads, one heavy load that, well, the heavy load is going to be the one from uh, Harbor Freight. But the rest of them have been pretty good. Light loads, good fuel mileage, good pay. So that's what you want to look for, shoot for. So it worked out pretty good. Um, let's just look at how many hours I got left. Yeah, I should have enough hours to make it where I got to go next. Whew. Well, we're going to go ahead and end the video this time for sure. <laughs> if you haven't already done it, jump down, hit the like button, the subscribe button. Be sure to ring the little bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a video. And uh, I appreciate it. Um, I mean, I'd love to be able to get to 2,000 subscribers, but... And it may happen at some point, you know, if I keep putting out enough videos. But what, I'll be honest with you, what it is, is I don't monetize my videos. So YouTube does not promote videos that they can't monetize. So that's why I don't get pushed out into the algorithms and all this other crap. So that, you know, my, my video don't get suggested, in other words. Um, a lot of times if you're on YouTube, you'll see uh, people that you're not even subscribed to, you'll get suggestions like, oh, we suggest this video, or they'll put it up in your feed, you know, even though you're not subscribed to them, so you can see it and maybe click on it. Well, they don't do that with me. My, my stuff, you know, if, 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 I, if I end up in a suggested feed, it's a miracle. It's, you know, it's, it's not that they're discriminating against me. It's just that because they're not making any money off of me. They don't, you know, I'm a burden to the platform. I'm not an asset. I'm a burden. Because, uh, you know, the, oh, we can't make no money off of him. So, if you see commercials in my video, you're getting ripped off. Because <laughs> I'm not getting a dime of any money from YouTube or anybody else to do these videos. So, if, if there's commercials in my video, it's all on YouTube. And they're putting the money in their pocket. But I think if they make any money off of it, they have to give it to the uh, whoever the artist, the, the artist that's singing in the song. Like uh, this video here, I think it was Kid Rock. So they'd have to give Kid Rock some of that money. <laughs> but I don't monetize, so I don't get a dime. Period. But um, anyway, so that's how all that works. But uh, so. I doubt I'll get to 2,000 subscribers. It'll probably take at least another year or two <laughs> just to get 400 subscribers. You know, if I average maybe two subscribers a month, new subscribers a month, maybe, or something like that. So I don't get a whole lot of new ones. I was you know, just super happy I made it to 1,600. Uh, but anyway, y'all stay safe. Keep moving forward. Keep your eyes and your mind on your dreams and what you want to make happen. Because you can do it. You just have to have the three Ds. Desire, dedication, determination. I can't wait to 
see those new t-shirts we get them out they're gonna be so freaking awesome <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much i really appreciate all of you making it a lot of fun for me but uh just keep moving forward don't give up always keep punching